Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves in, uh, well, just about any small generator like this. It's about the same, you have to find your own specifications. But as you can see, it's a 3000 watt, 3500 starting watt champion. And I went online. And I looked up the valve clearance and the plug gap. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to set the. Uh, well, I know the plug gap right, but I'm going to show you how to set uh, the valves. Okay. Your valves, of course, are under this cover. Take these four screws out. These should not be tightened down as tight as you can get them because if you tighten them down too tight, you will push the gasket out and it won't seal. You want them snug, uh, you know, you want it to pull down just a little bit but not tighten down real tight, not torqued. Real, real tight. There are torque specifications. I'm not sure what they are. I don't have a torque wrench, so I just go by feel, and I just know not to get them too tight. Okay, I'll tell you what. To make this a little easier, I'm going to put this phone in a holder. And I'm just going to sit it right here. If it will sit right here, okay. Something like that might work. Okay, you have this tube you have to pull out. Smart plug wire has got to be moved out of the way. And I'll finish taking my bolts out. It's a pretty simple procedure. Okay. Now, these are your rocker arms. And the valves are right in here. What you're actually adjusting is the rocker arm clearance to the valves. And as you can see, if you want to check which one is which, the carburetor is right here. So this is your intake. The exhaust is right here. So, of course, this is your exhaust. What you want to do is find the top dead center. There's a couple different ways to do that. The simplest way that I usually do is I pull the rope, make sure the switch to the ignition is in the off position, or else it could start up and you're going to throw oil all over the place. Well, if you got the plug wire off, it's probably not going to do much. Okay, as you pull it, you can see which valves are going down. You can see how it works just by pulling a rope a few times. Just a regular four stroke engine. Okay, there goes the intake valve down, as you can see. That means you're on the intake stroke right now. Okay. When that comes back up, that's actually top dead center, but I'm going to go on and show you. Okay, that's top dead center. You can see that they are both as high as they're going to go. Now, if I continue pulling, it will open the exhaust valve as I pull the rope. And that is the exhaust stroke. It's kind of that's the exhaust gas. Okay, let me get it back on top dead center, which is 
right after the intake stroke, you can see they kind of... Okay, now I have a set of filler gauges right here. Got them all kind of spread out so you can see. Okay, for the intake, I'm going to go by the inches. 05 to 0, or 005 to 007. So I figure if I go to 006, which is right here, that should be good. And then for the exhaust, you got 007 to 009. So I figure the 8. So the 6 and the 8, I'll leave out. Put my little note down here. Okay. Fold the leaves in. And fold that one in and then got these two out okay and you got to remember which one is for which the intake is a little bit smaller than the exhaust so the little one is the intake okay that's the intake right there and the way you'll know that it needs adjusting is, uh, I should have said this before, if your generator is lacking power and it seems to be lugging, then it probably needs a valve adjustment. So this is how you do it. Stick this filler gauge right into here. As you can see, slides easily in there. Thing is I had to work it in there, but it slides easily in there. It's kind of a hard angle to get into because of the way it's made, but as you can see the exhaust or the intake is fine. Now we'll check the exhaust. I cannot even get it in there. So what you will need to do, and I didn't bring a screwdriver out here with me, it's okay, okay, put my socket on there and loosen this up, okay, I should be able to turn this with my hand anyway, okay, this is just a lock nut, this nut that I loosened up, that's only a lock nut, that's all that does, it doesn't do the adjustment, it's just what holds locks it on. You twist, you take your screwdriver and you adjust it a little bit. And then once it gets to the point where you feel that there's some movement, That's too much movement. Then you'll do the same thing. Take your feeler gauge and try to fit it. It doesn't quite fit. You expect off the hair more. Okay, there we go. Once you get it tightened down, no, you want to check your adjustment again and tighten it down really good now the valves are adjusted assembly is of course the reverse of taking it apart and that's pretty much it it should run for a while you should do this about every uh, well mine it says about every 300 hours so that's probably a pretty good rule of thumb and if you feel like it's starting to lose power or something like that you can do a little adjustment on it but uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time